Jethro, did you take my shoe? You look like you took my shoe. Stinker. Kova, can you believe Costco did that? Can you guys believe Costco did that? I know, and they said that you guys can only get one bag of food at a time. And in their system, they have ability to track how much dog food you buy. Don't they realize you guys go through a big bag of dog food a week? I don't think they care. I don't think they care. I don't think they care. It's okay. Daddy got us covered. So yeah, Costco has a restriction on the amount of dog food that you can buy at any given time. And you know, that's going to be detrimental, especially to people like me that raise dogs, especially a large dog breed like the Mastiffs, English Bull Mastiff breed. So it's they said that these price effects are are here to stay for for the, you know, at least foreseeable future. And so that's a bit disturbing. I told them the position that I'm in and they said that they would reach out, but that they don't, that they don't currently have an answer and that yes, everything that they do is tracked. And essentially that means if I were to buy a package of dog food and then go to my car, come back, try to do it again, it would flag in the system because it's directly, you know, linked to your membership number, your membership card. So, you know, they have the technology to, they have the technology to track that. So while it sucks that I just can't do the easy, the easy way of going in depending on infrastructure, I still got to feed my dogs and I still will feed my dogs. And so what we're gonna start doing, which I've been needing to do for a little bit, I've just been kind of putting it off because I've had so many other things, is get rid of, um, we have an entire freezer that we need to just go ahead and go through. It's from quail from last year, meat from last year, um, animal organs and livers and stuff from last year, berries from last year. So we have a lot of food that we need to kind of get through so that we can put fresh meat in there. We have two feeder bulls that we got. We have a bunch of sheep. So we need to start making making room for, for this year. So that's what we're gonna start feeding to our dogs in the interim until we can figure out a better solution forward, which, you know, if we have to, we'll just have to increase our rabbit breeding operation, which I'm more than happy to do it regardless. So we do have solutions for this problem. So let me show you what we got going on today. So for starters, we have leftover rice from yesterday's meal that we're gonna throw in there. We're also gonna throw in some organic pasture raised, all the hashtags eggs from our coop. There you go, that looks really good. Next, we've added three quail. And we have a handful of blueberries from last year's harvest. Now we're gonna add a little hot water to help aid in digestion and giving them something Nice and warm to eat. How do you turn these cute faces away? Oh my goodness, you guys are too much. You guys are too much. Is that good, guys? Oh, yes. Oh, yes it is. You guys eat really well. Guys, that took no time at all. That took no time at all. That took no time at all. Good job. You know, guys, the writing's on the wall. I mean, the fact that Costco is limiting dog food to one bag, it just goes to show you that, you know, it's on the precipice for a major decline. And so ultimately, you know, I have been, you know, able to depend on that infrastructure because it's convenient. Things have been busy, but it's, you know, it's evidently clear that I cannot. And I'm glad that I'm in a place where we can start to, you know, transition. But these are things to be thinking about because today it's dogs. Tomorrow, what happens when you can't feed your kids, right? And these are my kids and I'm gonna make sure that they're fed and that's never gonna be an issue. But we really need to start thinking about, we know this isn't transitory. So what is that transition gonna look like? But well, there you guys have it. It's all about solution-based preparedness and getting ready for the transition that is ahead. So I hope you guys have a good one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, as always, long live the Republic.